Hi, everyone. Welcome to Everyday Heroes of Effective Giving series. We're here with Alfredo Parra, who will tell us about his story of effective giving. Everyday Heroes of Effective Giving is a series produced by Intentional Insights, and I'm Gleb Sapurski, the president of Intentional Insights and the host of this show. And we interview folks who engage in effective giving in their everyday life. So without further ado, let's turn to Alfredo Parra and listen to his story. And the first question I'm going to ask him is how he defines effective giving and why he's passionate about it. Thank you, Gleb. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Um, I really like what you're doing at Intentional Insights, so keep up, keep up the great work. Um, about myself, well, I'm from Mexico, uh, but I've been living in Munich for uh, four and a half years now. I'm currently doing a PhD in computer science at the Technical University of Munich. I previously did uh, engineering physics, and I kind of went in, into another direction. And um, yeah, I've been very involved with uh, the effective altruism movement for about a year or so. And um, while you mentioned effective giving, um, the way I would I would define effective giving is as follows. Well, there's the giving part, of course, um, we realize that we are in a very lucky position. So we have stable jobs, we live in rich and prosperous countries, so we are very lucky. Um, so we can give, and many people give, um, and that's all great. Um, but uh, then there, I mean, then there's the effective part of giving, and that is nothing else than simply Stopping for a moment, for a moment, to think about how we give, right? So um, it turns out, for example, that uh, some charities might be hundreds or thousands of times more effective than average charities. So if I want to donate some money, if I just stop for a min minute and think about how I want to donate that money. Turns out that I can do a lot of good and help a lot, a lot of people with the same amount of money. So now we have a lot of data, a lot of scientific studies, and um, effective giving is simply using all that data to help as much as we can. So that's more or less how I will define it. All right, great. And I think that there are there's definitely a lot of research showing it. And just like when you apply research to any field, whether it be charity or medicine or anything, we find that things we thought were used to be true are not nearly as true as uh, research shows them to be. So research is yeah. a very effective tool to actually get at the truth of the matter. So, yeah. yeah. Can you share now about why you're so passionate about effective giving and what was your story of getting involved in effective giving? Um, well, um, coming from Mexico, uh, I uh, had the opportunity to see how people live in, in extreme poverty. Um, I think I'm very lucky that I was able to, to see that firsthand. And I always had the feeling that I wanted to help somehow, that I wanted to contribute and improve the lives of, of people. And I just didn't know how. I felt a bit frustrated, or maybe I didn't have the resources. And um, well, I guess last year, in the beginning of last year, I came across with uh, one of Peter Singer's books, The Life You Can Save. And he made some very compelling arguments for charitable giving and what it means to live an ethical life. And I immediately identified myself with these ideas and that's how I started to get involved in um, effective giving and effective altruism. I decided to try giving. Um, 
I started donating to one of the most effective charities in the world um, called Give Directly. At first, just a little bit, then a bit more. And um, at some point, I took a pretty big step in that direction. I joined uh, Giving What We Can, which is an organization whose members pledge to give at least 10% of their income to the most effective charities in the world. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. Um, that's more or less how I got involved with, with effective giving. Um, and I've been doing it since then. <laughs> Great. Thank you for sharing that perspective. And yeah, I also can really relate to that coming from a background of experiencing poverty firsthand. I actually immigrated with my family from the former Soviet Union when I was 10 and ended up living in New York City. And my mother washed toilets for a living. My dad delivered bread in a bread truck and he took home bread for us to eat from that bread truck. So uh, I can really relate to that sort of living in poverty and kind of getting our furniture from things that people put out in the street that they discarded, like wealthier people in the United States. So yeah, I understand where that comes from. And yeah, yeah giving what we can, is that's, that's a great organization. I'm also a member of that organization. And for folks who want to try it out, there is an option to try out. You don't have to take the pledge right away. You can just try out uh, taking the pledge for a certain period of time and seeing how it works out for you. So it's not a lifelong commitment if you don't want it to be a lifelong commitment. That's right. Yeah, so right now I'd like to ask you what you, Alfredo, are doing right now in your effective giving activities, both of your time and your mind. Well, there are several things. Um, last year, um, after I started giving, uh, when I joined uh, Giving What We Can in June, I uh, then realized that there was a small group of people here in Munich, uh, mostly students, very young people, trying to start a local chapter of effective altruism. So I contacted them. Um, we got together in September, and that's more or less how we started our local group here in Munich. And since then, I've, I've been very busy with, with the group. We organize events, we talk about these ideas, we discuss um, not just charitable giving, but also career choice. How can I choose a career that can have a very positive impact in the world? We discuss philosophy or psychology or economy, all sorts of topics. Um, of course, I am still giving. This pledge is... Uh, is a lifetime commitment, so I'm still doing that. So, yeah, uh, we, for example, also created a, a student group here at the at the university, and we hope to reach a, a young and motivated uh, audience, students. And yeah, we're just focusing on getting the ideas out there, and I just talk about all these things with friends and family. That's more or less how, how I'm involved in, in um, effective altruism and, and effective giving. Great. And so that's how what you're doing right now. And I'm curious, what are your plans for the future? So you're right now finishing up your PhD. You're an activist in effective altruism. You're doing effective giving. What do you plan to do in the future in the field of effective giving? And what kind of a mark do you want to leave in the world? Oh, well, that's kind of hard to tell. Um, as you mentioned, right now I'm very focused uh, on my PhD. Um, I still don't know very well um, which career path I'm going to take. I am planning to take career advice from 80,000 Hours, which is another organization that lives by the, by the philosophy of effective altruism and they uh, try to uh, tell you in which direction you could go 
such that you can have a very positive impact with your talents, with your skills. So I want to do that. Uh, of course, I'm still going to be giving whatever I whatever I do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to work uh, for uh, academia or the industry or somewhere else. I think effective giving is something that I'm going to keep doing wherever I am. And uh, well, I don't know what my impact is going to be, but I, I want to. I want it to be as large as possible, and I think we have a great opportunity with our local group here in Munich to do uh, to do a lot of good, and also with the recently founded um, Foundation of for Effective Altruism in, in Germany. Um, it's a group of young, motivated people who are doing a great work. So, collaborating with them, yeah, and then let's see how that turns out. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story, Alfredo. I think you're a real everyday hero of effective giving. And this is the Everyday Heroes of Effective Giving series produced by Intentional Insights. Once again, my name is Dr. Gleb Saporsky, uh, and I am really glad that you joined us and got to hear the story of another everyday hero of effective giving here. Hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.